I'll stand just like a statue, just like you, acting like the sky's just about to fall. Hello everybody, welcome back, Nintendo will be here, and welcome to my new Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Guys, I am very excited to finally do a new Let's Play, and I'm finally happy that after all these years, I'm finally able to do a Let's Play of this game. Like, literally, I remember watching Nintendo Capri's son do his Let's Play of this game, and it inspired me to basically play this game in general. Like, I remember getting it first for the 3DS... Then I got it for Wii Virtual Console. And when I had both of those versions, I did not make an attempt to play either both of them. Like, I would get to, like, Dodongo's Cavern and I would give up. But then, I remember one summer in 2017, I was like, you know what? I'm going to finally beat this game. And I booted the version up on the um, Wii Virtual Console. And last year, I finally beat the game 100%. And actually, I actually have to get out this thing before the game continues into a cutscene. And I'm, I'm happy to finally say I finally beaten this. I finally am not playing a game I've beaten before and actually I've played a lot of times. And by the way, you know what's funny? Throughout all that time, literally, I had it both for Wii Virtual Console and 3DS. When I had the original this whole entire time, like literally, I got my N64 from my uncle and it came with the game itself. Like it came with both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I bought like the Wii Virtual Console version and the, um, the 3DS version. So... <laughs> I decided to do the let's play of on I decided uh, I decided to do the let's play on the N64 version because I wanted to be authentic and plus I just don't feel like using my Wii Virtual Console again for another let's play. But anyways, we're going to be starting off as you can see we're on the file selection screen here and there's really nothing else to say but I'm just very excited. Um so the name of cuz you know how usually people do let's plays of this game, they usually name the character Link cuz that's his name. But for this let's play i am going to name our lovely little hero if i can find the letters we're going to name him lapeer because that's what well the lapeer is my second channel but my name's nintendo lapeer and i kind of can't fit the full name in there so um <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying and plus i even asked on my discord server which by the way i highly recommend you join if i should like if i had to play, if i had to play a game where i can name my character should i name it lapeer or should i name it something else and y'all chose Lapeer not knowing it was for this game, even though I'm pretty sure no one really cared. But anyways, no more negativity. Let's get some positivity in this. Anyways, without further ado, since there's really nothing else to say and I'm probably just going to stutter a thousand times, let's get right into it. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as a guardian spirit. I am known as a Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Man, it's pretty chilling here. <laughs> God damn it. To be honest with you, like, even though, like, it's a horrible situation, like, Zelda, like, literally has to run away, but I, this is actually a pretty chill vibe. Like, it's raining, storming. Like, I could be in one of the castle, t like, the houses in Castle Town just chilling, listening to the rain. But, anyways, and, wait a minute. Who in the hell is this random guy in my dream? I don't even know you. Why are you in my head? Like, why am I dreaming about random dudes? I don't get it. Like, what the hell? But... <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense... <laughs> I can't... Guys, throughout this Let's Play, I'm not going to be able to read, so... Just... Like, I can't... I even was able to read in Banjo, so I'm just going to carry on, but anyways... Malevolent forces, he even now are... <laughs> Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Gokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier to tearing outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems as the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny is to lead the Hyrule to a path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend, and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the force, may the, nay, the world depends upon thee. Is this Shakespeare or something? Why is the Deku Tree, and why is people, why are people messaging me on Snapchat at this time? I'm busy. Like, is this Shakespeare or something? But anyways, welcome to 
my home, the Kokiri Forest. To be honest, has anyone ever thought of this? Has everyone ever thought of living inside a tree? Like, there's tree houses and stuff, but how about actually, like, carving out a tree and making it into a house? I think you probably won't be able to do that because the tree kind of needs the core to stay alive. I don't know. Again, I'm not the smart. I'm not smart, okay? And... Ouch, Nabby. Watch where you're going. <laughs> but, anyways. But wait. How come he doesn't have a door? So it's like an open door policy. Like, he can just chill there in his bed. Hello, Hello Lapeer. No, I'm not doing a voice. Hello, Lapeer. Wake up. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you. Lapeer, get up. This is literally me every day. And the, like, I, like, literally. Hey, come on. Can't Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Well, actually, I am very lazy. <laughs> she, is, she is right there. I'm very lazy. This took me literally a couple days to finally record. Even though this, like, took me. This is, like, my third time recording. But anyways... <laughs> All right, what do you want, Navi? I want to go back to sleep. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree has asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned me. Has su uh, the Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Let's get going right now. Damn, why are you so demanding? But anyways, we are now finally able to control 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 control, control link. There, I can act. No. <laughs> I can't. This is going to be bad. But anyways, we're finally able to control our, our main person here. And oh, who is this random girl and why is she running out of my house? Yahoo! Hey, Lippy. No. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go talk to our friend right here. Who I don't even know who this is. Finally, a fairy came to you, Lapeer. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, Lapeer. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I wait for so I'll wait I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Well, before we see the Great Deku Tree, and yes, that is Saria. I know who that is. I'm just trying to follow the stupid story. But anyways, we're gonna get some rupees now. The reason why we have to collect rupees is because before we go to the Great Deku Tree, because if we go over there right now, there's gonna be some jackass. He's gonna be like, oh, you need the sword and shield to go see the Deku Tree. So. We're gonna have to go get some rupees because we don't want to deal with him. Like, Mido, like, long story short, he's just... No one really likes him. Now, this... Fun fact, by the way, this is where my last recording crashed, so... Let's just hope the same... Okay, let's wait for this boulder to go by. It's like Indiana Jones, dude. So we're gonna get more rupees here. We're gonna do some little... Uh, backflip. Some speed... Can you not grab onto the flower thing? Oh, God. I my control stick! No! Oh, my God. My control stick is still messed up from when I was speedrunning Mario. But anyways... We're here to get our first item of the temple. Well, not really a temple, the item of the world. We got the Kokiri Sword on the equipment subscreen. Select it with a cursor and equip it with A. This is the hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Yeah, for, for like seven years, I can borrow it until I find a new sword. So anyways, we're going to go into our little item subscreen now. As you can see, we have the map here. We also have our quest status, which can show us all the ocarina songs we have, all the heart pieces, scotulas, whatever these two things are, and all the medallions, the stones, and then here's a little subscreen where we can get our sword right here. I'm going to save, and hopefully I'm praying to God that our recording doesn't screw up. But anyways, we got our sword now. It's pretty cool. Like, literally, like, if I go over to this brand, little weed right here, I can slash in half, get some more rupees, so I can buy our little toy shield. <clears throat> I need water. Yesterday... I finally got Mario Maker 2. Now, I was I was debating whether if I should actually make a video on it, like, or actually do like a video playing the game. And I do, I still want to do it, but it's just, I'm afraid my Elgato is not going to work. And after like doing like an hour, like 20 minutes of recording something, I just don't want to go back and edit and see the footage all screwed up and stuff. And now if you hit some of these signs, you actually get rupees. Like if you hit this one, yeah, we got, oh, I'll get the blue rupee here. We actually really need that. But anyways, we're going to go this way. And we're gonna go- also, I'm sorry if I'm being very cringy, because it's like 11 at night. I was supposed to record this earlier, but again, as- as Navi told me, I'm lazy, so... <laughs> like, literally, I got so sidetracked, and I couldn't really get myself to record it. But I finally am! It's like 11 at night, and I'm kind of tired, and I'm really thirsty, and I want some water. And of course I fall into lava- lava into the water. Alright, let's get that. No, Let's get the ru- Why can I not- What the- There's, Isn't there supposed to be rupees here? Wait. What? I'm losing my mind. I swear there's supposed to be rupees there. But anyways. Yeah, hi, Lapeer. Look this way. Over here with the Z target. Talk to me with the A button. Uh, I don't feel like it. But anyways, we're not going to go in there yet. I need to find more rupees because I swear I'm losing my mind. They're, you're supposed to jump over there. Also, that's Mido over there. But we're going to ignore him because he's a mean person. We're going to get more rupees over here because I'm pretty sure there's some rupees over here. No. Of course, the branches are all empty. 
Is there a rupee there? Dude, where are all these? Oh, yeah, there's a... I know where there's a... Wait, can I do a... Sp Let me try something, actually. Hold on, wait. Will this work? A casual player doing speedrun tricks. I can't... Yeah, I can't do it. I'm too dumb. No, that won't work. <laughs> oh, my God. But anyways, is there any rupees over here? Or did I get all of them already? Now, I'm pretty sure in this house there's some more rupees, I think. Is there... Oh, yes! Actually, these chests would be really useful, actually, for doing, like, a randomizer. And by the way, if you don't know what randomizer is, it's like this category... It's like a... It's for people who mainly speedrun, but casual players can do it as well. It's basically like you get everything's randomized. Like dungeons can be randomized and items can be randomized. And last chest, what's in here? Is it a blue rupee? All right. After this, we're gonna go to the shop because there's a secret stash of rupees that the shop owner is hiding. We're gonna go steal those. Buy our sword. Should it, I can't speak. Our shield. Uh, now finally the. So now the rupees are gonna appear. Okay, this is. <laughs> I can't do this, dude. I, this is why I can't at late at night. But anyways, we're going to talk to the shop owner here. Welcome. We're going to go get our Deku shield because I want to get out of this forest. I want to go say hi to our tree friend. You got the Deku shield. Switch to the yada, yada, yada. We already know this. Can I Can I please go through this text? I don't want to read. We're going to have to go talk to Mido now. And you're going to see how much of this guy is in Hey you Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the great Deku tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. Hey, you be quiet. I don't have a fairy, but I'm a man. So sh what? You got a fairy? Say what? The great Deku tree actually summons you? What? Nani? Why would he summon you? <laughs> Why would he summon you, not the great Mido? Because you're an excuse of a human being. This isn't funny. Yes, it is funny because you're acting like a jack. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. I for I forgot to equip the shield. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm actually dumb. All right, now I got the shield. Let's talk to him again. If you want to see, the I know your whole spiel. I have the sword and shield. Can I please go see the Deku? Uh, you have a Deku shield? And what's that? <gasps> Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? That's it. I'm about to fight this dude. I'm gonna about to tr jump in this game and go fight him because he's acting like a. I don't know. My computer's turning off. But anyways, as we get in here, <gasps> our first enemy, and we fought a stick. We got. We basically fought a stick with a sword, dude. It's like this game. <laughs> don't know, man. <laughs> All right, let's kill this last one, and we're gonna go talk to our friend here. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Navi, Nost has returned. Look here, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber of these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile clamant pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, those how though <laughs> thou hast felt it all right there look here the time has come to test thy courage i have been accursed i need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage dost thou have courage and do you not lack thank you to undertake this task you know what i sit in my room half the damn time bet i'll take your task i'll become the true man i am then enter brave look here Though in the you thou too Navi, Navi the theory thou must aid Lapir. In Lapir, when Navi speaks, use up and listen to well to her words of wisdom. Well, boys, we're gonna be going to our first temple of the game, the Great Deku Tree. But this episode's already long, so guys, if you enjoy, I'm sorry for this episode being cringy. Literally, it's like it's late at night. I'm tired. I just want to get this done. Even though I really actually I really wanted to record this, like I really wanted to, but it's just. I don't know. Like I, I was like I had everything all planned out earlier, but then my recording screwed up. So no more blabbering. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. You can hit that like button if you're if you're really excited for this let's play. And I really don't know what to say, but just also oh yeah, please join my Discord server by the way, as I said in the beginning. So I'll see you guys in the next part where we finally go take care of the deck tree. Bye bye.